are here today to practice techniques that we learned this morning on how to monitor for amphibians in our local ponds and wetlands. We feel that the amphibian monitoring program is important not only to help Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife really know the presence and absence of amphibians in these local ponds and wetlands, but we also want to um, help connect people with local ponds and wetlands and the amphibians that they may or may not know already live there. My name is Xander Varvar and I'm part of the Zoo Corps program from Woodland Park Zoo. And we're doing our amphibian, amphibian monitoring program here, um, a practice session at Carkeek. We think that we might have just found um, the egg sac of a red-toed salamander, which is one of the species that we learned about in our monitoring program session this morning. And we're just trying to use our aquascope, one of our team members is using his aquascope to try to figure out exactly what it is and how many of them that we can see. So it's very, very exciting. We didn't expect to find any this late in the day. So this is an aquascope um, and we have, um, basically our participants follow a Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife approved protocol um, using a lot of equipment that we can they can reserve through us at the zoo, um, including this aquascope in which they put the bottom um, over an egg mass without touching it because we want to do no harm and look through the top and it will magnify the egg mass and it will help the participants see um, the egg mass up close without getting too close to, um, to the egg mass. We are practicing, it's a practice session so we can learn about identifying and finding egg masses um, so that we can identify them in various sites that we'll be monitoring throughout the Seattle area. This is an egg mass of the long-tailed, long-toed salamander. And you can see attached to a, a blade of grass here, there is probably about a dozen little amphibian eggs. So what Woodland Park Zoo's project is doing is training people on how to collect data in a very reliable and repeatable way so that scientists can interpret it. And why this is important is that amphibians are declining around the world and these data will help inform fish and wildlife on what's going on in our own backyard. And amphibians in particular are very sensitive to environmental change, so they're one of the first organisms that we're going to see change in with climate change, uh, habitat alteration, and contamination. Um, my name is Emily Culbertson. I'm Carly Lee. And we're here from uh, Zoo Corps. Yeah, we're here to monitor um, the amphibian species in the local wetlands of Seattle. Um, it's just to monitor um, how the wetlands are doing in this area and uh, keep a constant rate of how the, the uh, animals are doing because frogs and those kind of species are the first ones to uh, show signs of anything happening in an area. And it's also to just um, gain knowledge about how many uh, different populations there are because we, know, we have a general knowledge but we don't know for sure.